Hi, I'm Dr. Ellis Orozco, and thanks for listening to this video podcast. I hope you have a great weekend. Hi, and thanks for listening in. Uh, so it's Good Friday, and most of us know the story. Jesus is hanging on a cross. Jesus came to earth with a message that was just too much for some people to carry. He came with a light that was too brilliant for many uh, to bear. He came with a way to God that threatened all the other established ways to God. And so people who had too much to lose, too much invested in the establishment, um, couldn't bear to let the light shine. Uh, they had to snuff it out. Like my oldest son, whenever he was a kid and I would go up to his room and it was a mess, I mean, just a mess. And I would tell him, you have to fix this so he would turn out the light, right? Um, Richard Rohr said, people inside of belonging systems are threatened by anyone who has found their citizenship in places they cannot control. So they fought him and they killed him. Um, but who were these people? Who were these people that hung Jesus on a cross? Well, they were just people, just like you and me. Teachers and lawyers and um, bricklayers and housewives and pastors, pastors. They were just people, just people like, like you and me. And they killed him. And they snuffed out the light. It was just too bright. They were like that wounded dog on the side of the road. You know, you stop the car and you want to go and try and help. The dog's been hit. Something is broken. Maybe there's internal bleeding. You're just trying to get the dog to the vet. And the dog snarls at you, growls at you, barks at you. The dog tries to bite you and scratch you. The dog can't see the good you're trying to do because he's wounded and he can't think past his current pain. And so that's what they did. They killed him on Friday. And then he's in the tomb Friday night, Saturday, Sunday morning. And the women come to the tomb with their spices and their ointments to, to prepare the body for, um, for real burial. And when they get to the cave um, where they laid him, uh, Jesus is gone. Now, what I want you to reflect on this weekend is about resurrection is this path to believing. Now, the first thing I want you to see is that these women, when they come to the tomb on Sunday morning, they don't come as believers in Jesus's resurrection. They're bringing the spices and the ointments to prepare his dead body. They don't see Jesus as risen yet. They get to the tomb and they find the body missing. And it says that they were wondering about these things. They they were perplexed. They were confused. Mary probably goes outside the cave to make sure that she has the right address. Is this the right cave? And they're, they're thinking, what, what happened? Someone must have moved the body. Who would do a thing like that? And then the angel appears to them and says to them, why are you looking for the living among the dead? Jesus is alive. And even then, the women are still confused. They run back to the other disciples and they tell them, and Luke tells us that the, the disciples heard the story the women were saying about resurrection, and it says that they didn't believe them because what they said seemed like nonsense. It just is too hard to believe. So what I want you to think about and reflect on is this path that we take. The women went from unbelievers to experiencing something about Jesus. He's alive. And they move from unbelief to skepticism. Something's not right. Something has definitely happened here, but we're not sure. And then when the angels appeared, they, they move from skepticism to confused and bewildered belief. They want to believe. They're beginning to believe. In fact, it's not until they really meet Jesus face to face, each of the disciples, until they meet him face to face. And for Thomas, it's not until he puts his fingers on the scars that he really believes. Now, as you go to church this Sunday for Easter, wherever you go, uh, be sure that you don't go alone. Take someone with you 
and help them on their journey from unbelief to skepticism to confused belief to faith. It'll be the greatest Easter of your life. God bless you. Thank you.